So, Coke has new Oreo flavor, a new Oreo flavor, which um, never would have expected this to exist, but it does. Um, and found out about this like online, like Instagram or something, and then it's finally here. Uh, it is zero sugar, and then we have the Oreo, or the um, Coke flavored Oreos that I don't have in my possession. Have not found them yet, have not seen them anywhere, but hopefully one day. Zero sugar, limited edition. I'm um, excited about this though. The can is spectacular. Uh, I love the black and I think it makes sense for zero sugar. Upon the smell, it smells like, <laughs> it just smells like zero Coke, honestly. It just smells like Coke Zero. It's not, it doesn't have a, 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 a distinct smell. I thought it would kind of have like an Oreo vibe going on, but no, but yeah. Fizzy, cookie flavored. I'm hesitant about that, but uh, very nice can. Here we go, Coke flavored, or Oreo. No! Oreo flavored Coke. Down the hatch. Um, okay. This is immediately reminding me of something they put out recently. What was it? Oh yeah, Starlight. Starlight was very controversial within the people that love Coke and like, it's, it, it was a weird one, but I think I kind of liked it and I had it a little, a few more times after that, but it instantly is reminding me of that, which I guess is kind of going with the theme of like these weird Coke flavors they've been coming up with lately. But this is one we can get behind, of course, because it's Oreo. It kind of reminds me of that it doesn't really remind me of like a full on Oreo in the Coke. It's maybe going for just like the white cream being in there a little bit. Usually something like this, I would be totally fine with the zero sugar vibe, all right? I don't try, try to keep around sugar and caffeine and sodas anymore. But with this one, I think it would actually benefit from having the sugar because it doesn't have as much, it does taste like a zero Coke, which I thought they might be able to make it taste like it does have sugar in it, but it doesn't. And it is sort of like the vanilla cream, but it's really bitter, crazy kind of aftertaste. The best way I can explain that is like a metallic sort of aftertaste, uh, which Coke can have depending on the flavor. I just don't know if they went all the way with this, like like they could have. As an example of one they have recently though, Starlight, it, it kind of is like that, but a lot of you did not like Starlight, but for me, as much as it wasn't like amazing, Starlight is better than this. So yeah, that's kind of disappointing. I think they could have benefited from having a sugar version of this. Maybe they just didn't want to worry about putting out both versions, but the black can matches the zero vibe. So I don't know if it was just, for the looks of it, or or it was because they want to do no sugar in the Coke, and then you have the sugar, of course, in the Coke flavored Oreos. We got the little like six pack of like mini cans, so I'll be curious on going back to it after a little while, like maybe tomorrow or something, like just to see. But as of right now, the Oreo flavored Coke zero sugar, uh, I guess like a D plus. <laughs> Wanted to like this more? Let me know in the comments. What did you think about it? Did you try? You got your hands on the Oreo flavored Coke yet? I keep wanting to swap that Coke flavored Oreo, whatever. Uh, have you tried the Oreos yet? You can click that video over there to go down the rabbit hole that is my channel. Love you guys. God bless you guys. Trav out. Peace out. Trav never lies. He only ever tries. And I'm always in the mood when my boy's reviewing food. Mountain Dew, chicken nuggies, Coca-Cola, peanut butter, all these consumables. How does he clean up all this clutter?